the course it's been unbelievably influential and Turing's one of my all-time heroes but I think if you look back at the 1950 paper's original paper and read the original you'll see I don't think he meant it to be a rigorous formal test I think it was more like a thought experiment Today we uncover the secret weapon at the heart of Google's arsenal so, a man renowned uh, worldwide as an AI genius, genius. AI articles have hailed him uh, as the grandmaster of AI his colleagues describe him as a visionary his name is Demis Hassabis now that might not ring as many bells as names like Elon Musk or Mark Zuckerberg, but trust me, by the end of this video, you'll realize why Demis Hassabis is a legend in his own right. You see, this man is on a mission to solve intelligence and then use that to solve everything else. Ambitious? Absolutely. But trust me, he's the real deal. In this video, we'll talk about the journey of Demis Hassabis from chess prodigy slash gamer to the pioneering AI genius he is today will delve into his groundbreaking achievements, including the iconic AlphaGo victory, his brainchild DeepMind, and how Google's strategic acquisition of it catapulted them to the forefront of the AI arms race. But before we get into all that, let's rewind the clock first and take a closer look at the remarkable journey of Demis Hassabis. Demi was born in London in the year 1976. He showed a natural talent for logic and strategy from a young age, and his journey into the world of AI began with a humble fascination for chess. When Demi was four years old, he saw his father and uncle playing chess, so he asked them to teach him the game. Within weeks, he was competing against adults in local tournaments. By the age of five, Demi's was making waves on a national stage. Imagine, this kid was outwitting opponents twice his age, but it wasn't just about the game. It was his relentless curiosity that set him apart. At eight years old, Demise's interest expanded beyond the chessboard to the world of computers. Thanks to some chess winnings, he got his hands on a ZX Spectrum computer and kicked off his self-taught programming journey. One day, Demi designed a program to play Othello, a strategy board game between two players. Surprisingly, the program not only played well, it actually beat his younger brother. That moment sparked something magical in Demise. He realized that computers had this incredible power to solve problems, like an extension of the human mind. This moment was the seed of his passion for AI. By 13, Demise was already a chess master, ranked second in the world for players under 14. But as Demise grew, so did his ambitions. I just felt, although I love chess, and I still love chess now, I felt it was too narrow a thing to dedicate your entire life to, he confessed. Demise wanted to steer his talents towards challenges that extended beyond the chessboard. He yearned for a more profound purpose, which eventually guided him towards his other passion, gaming. Gaming wasn't just a pastime for Demis, it was a gateway. After leaving the professional chess world, he started crafting games and programming, giving life to iconic titles like Syndicate and Theme Park, which went on to sell millions. It's as if everywhere Demise goes, he's bound to leave an indelible mark, Yet, his true calling was still unfolding. It was here, amidst the pixels and lines of code, that Demise's vision began to expand and evolve. His insatiable curiosity propelled him beyond gaming and toward a domain where the lines between human ingenuity and machine capability blurred artificial intelligence. Demise's epiphany was simple yet profound. To tackle the world's greatest issues like cancer or climate change, we're going to need intelligence, more and more intelligence but the human mind has its limits. So we had to go even further than that. So Demis was convinced that artificial intelligence was the missing piece, capable of unlocking the solutions to these issues. Slowly, the dots began to connect. The strategic thinking he cultivated through chess, the creativity he honed in game design. These skills were all to prepare him for the field he'll end up dedicating the rest of his life to. AI. With this newfound purpose, Demis pursued a journey that took him to the halls of Cambridge University. Here he studied the intricacies of AI, exploring its various facets and potential applications. It was here that he also learned how to develop narrow AI, a type of AI which can learn to perform specific tasks. But Demis's heart has always been set on something much bigger, something like general AI, the kind that can learn and think like humans, the holy grail of artificial intelligence, so to speak. Ambitious? Yes, very much so but Demise had the knowledge and skill to back it all up. He graduated with a double first in computer science, after which he co-founded a video game company called Elixir Studios. However, 
After a decade of leading successful tech startups, Demi still thirsted for more knowledge. So this time, he went even further in the name of AGI. He studied the workings of the human brain. Now Demis returned to academia again, pursuing a PhD in cognitive neuroscience at University College London. Then, he honed his expertise through postdoctoral studies at MIT and Harvard. His research here on imagination and memory set the stage for his magnum opus. Demis was a man on a mission, and he was very determined to see this through. Once he was all set, he co-founded the neuroscience-inspired AI company, DeepMind Technologies. This was in the year 2011, the year where Demis Hassabis, along with Shane Legg and Mustafa Suleiman, planted the seeds for an AI revolution. Their mission was to solve the problem of intelligence, then use AI to solve everything else. And the ultimate goal, of course, is to crack the code of artificial general intelligence. Over the years, DeepMind has been taking great leaps in the name of AGI. The core of DeepMind's approach involves merging deep neural networks with reinforcement learning, which is the way that all animals learn through the brain's dopamine-driven reward system. Their first milestone, unsurprisingly, was the creation of algorithms that could master games, beginning with the DeepQ network, or DQN, that rolled out in 2013. DQN is an algorithm that can learn to play games by itself. When introduced the first time to the game of Space Invaders, it immediately became the world's best player in just 30 minutes, with no prior knowledge, no cheat codes, nothing just pixels on the screen and a direction to achieve the highest score possible. Imagine, what took humans hours, days or even weeks AI was able to do in just a matter of minutes. This wasn't just about gaming prowess. Such speed of learning and adaptation could hold the keys to revolutionizing countless other fields like healthcare and science. Impressive, right? Even Google couldn't overlook such a promise. So in 2014, Google acquired DeepMind for a staggering sum of over $650 million. It even fought off Facebook for acquisition of the company. This investment, as we'll learn to find, will prove to be quite the genius on Google's part. Among the early fruits of collaboration between the two was AlphaGo, a computer program that made history by defeating a legendary champion player of the ancient Chinese board game, Go. Now, let's grasp the complexity of this achievement. You see, Go isn't just any game. It's a game with more potential moves than there exist atoms in the universe. Unlike chess, Go is a game where intuition prevails over calculation. In fact, when Go experts are asked about their moves, they often say that it just felt right. So how could machines driven by logic and algorithms master a game rooted in human-like intuition? That's why Go has long been an impossible feat for AI. But Hasabis, the man that he is, heard the word impossible and rose to the challenge. AlphaGo made history by merging human-like intuition with the analytical prowess of AI. It was an embodiment of DeepMind's signature technique, reinforcement learning, where software learns to take on complex problems by making decisions based on repeated attempts and adapting based on feedback. It also used a method called tree search to explore and remember possible moves on the board. This landmark event, more than anything else, served as a wake-up call to the world on the rapid progress of AI. But also, it was a show-off of the immense power that Google wielded, with the world's leading AI company under its wing. And it's only just the beginning. At Google, Demis Hassabis is spearheading an ambitious project, an AI system named Gemini that's designed to outshine Microsoft and OpenAI's ChatGPT. Ever since ChatGPT emerged, Google's once firm grasp on search engine dominance began to slip particularly in the face of Microsoft and OpenAI's advancements. In response, Google swiftly introduced its own chatbot, Bard, embedding generative AI across its various platforms. The competition has intensified, and the race is on. Yet a pivotal shift is underway. While ChatGPT excels at text crafting, language translation, and generating content, it lacks the nuanced intuition of human thinking. It can't strategically plan in the long term, nor can it solve complex and intricate problems. But you know who's the expert at human-like intuition for machines? Yep, that's right, DeepMind. So imagine taking the language prowess of ChatGPT and combining it with the reinforcement techniques of AlphaGo. Now that's certainly a duo I'd watch out for. But let's not overlook DeepMind's broader contributions at Google either. Their AI has elevated Google's offerings across various domains, from improving traffic predictions in Google Maps 
to making Android phones' batteries last longer, to personalizing app recommendations in Google Play, and even developing a text-to-speech system that now powers Google Assistant. Their imprint on Google's advancements is undeniable, and any AI updates from Google will surely have DeepMind's fingerprint all over them. In fact, in April, Google revealed that DeepMind is merging with Google Brain to create a new AI super team, Google DeepMind. And guess who will be leading the team? Indeed, it's our man Demis Hassabis, leading a mission to cultivate even more capable and responsible general AI systems. Their current focus, it seems, is multimodal AI, similar to OpenAI's GPT-4, which adeptly responds to both text and image inputs. You should know that DeepMind and Google Brain are two of the leading AI research labs in the world, with DeepMind's reinforcement learning and Google Brain's transformer technology, which underpins products like ChatGPT itself. Microsoft is in for a fierce competition. Microsoft may have been investing heavily in AI in recent years, but it's clear that Google is now catching up quick, and at its helm stands Demis Hassabis, a very pragmatic and highly, highly competitive man. So you see, at the core of it all, the secret weapon that will propel Google at the forefront of the AI arms race is none other than the unassuming genius, Demis Hassabis. Hassabis is now the head of Google DeepMind, and his position today is a result of a synthesis of all the disciplines he has honed over his lifetime, from chess to gaming to eventually AI. Reflecting on his journey, I'm curious. What unique experiences or passions have shaped your path to where you are today? Feel free to share your personal insights in the comments below. Now the AI revolution is in full swing, and Demis Hassabis stands at its forefront, determined to shape a future where technology and human potential intertwine. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date with the latest news about AI and how it's reshaping industries, make sure to engage by hitting the like button, sharing this video, and subscribing to our channel, Tectonic Shift. Your curiosity fuels our journey. Until next time, embrace the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. I'll see you in the next video.